Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the very first uh, lecture that we're going to have. Uh, I'm planning on doing a complete set of a whole bunch of these. Uh, this one is the very first chapter, the very first lesson. So uh, our first chapter is measurement. Um, and the first lesson is all about the imperial um, measurements of length. So you'll see below me um, there's a Word document. It is the same one that you have, um, and I will fill these out, uh, or fill this out over here, answering the questions. Um, so you will have reference as we go through. You can fill in your notes. Uh, there are then going to be exit slips and questions. There will be places where we stop in the booklet where you have a quiz uh, or an assignment. Um, so yeah, we'll get started. Um, chapter one is all about converting. Um, different units uh, between each other. That will include SI units, but we're going to focus on imperial units today. Uh, we're going to measure different shapes, and we're also going to uh, solve service area and volume problems for uh, any shape uh, that you can imagine, essentially. We're going to go right to composite objects, so like triangles, um, rectangles, and circles, and cones, and uh, cylinders all together. But we'll start with the easy stuff for now. So I will scroll down here. This is my very first one, so I'm still getting used to this. But if you go to page two, uh, you should see this as well. So imperial measurements of length. Uh, the imperial system was instituted by kings and pharaohs like olden days, um, where like the length of a foot was dependent on how long of a foot of the king was. Um, the SI system has been used since 1983. Uh, where one meter is defined as that number right there, and it doesn't change. It's constant, doesn't matter who's in power and how big their foot is, uh, it is always the same. So we're gonna talk about the imperial units here. Um, so the inch is kind of our reference unit. Uh, inch is about the width of your thumb. Uh, so if you're measuring something like how many inches, oh, there's two inches, you put your thumbs together, that's approximately it. Um, then there's feet, which is a little bit longer. So now we've decided that um, one inch is equal to one foot. So that would be something that we write in the second box where it says foot, uh, foot length, the relationship between units, um, one inch, um, sorry, 12 inches, I should say, equals one foot. Um, the relationship between yards uh, and inches and feet. So we have one yard is equal to three feet. And one yard, if it's equal to three feet, is also equal to 36 inches, right? Three times uh, one foot. So 12 times three is 36. Um, and it's about your arm span, probably a little bit less. Uh, and then we've got to a mile. So this will be the last box. Um, one mile is equal to 1,760 yards. Uh, so that's quite a few, it's an exact number. That's what it's been decided as now. One mile is also equal to 5,280 feet. Um, so that's a number that I don't expect you to remember, uh, these two numbers in particular but um, you should be able to use if they're given. And then how many inches are in a mile? Well, there's 63,360 inches in one mile. So again, you'll have to use those um, numbers in our calculations as we go forward. Um, so, scroll down. We are first going to talk about combining units and how we do that. So we're going to start with um, five feet Four inches. So, here. so five feet four inches. Get used to that kind of notation. Um, one line is foot, and two lines is inches. We are going to find out how many total inches there are. So, uh, first thing we need to do is find out how many inches there are in five feet, and then add the four inches. So, five feet. Um, and there's, we're going to multiply that by 12 because we know that there's 12 inches in a foot. So that equals 60 inches. And then of course we need to add our four inches from before. So it's a total 
of 64 inches. Uh, that is how you combine units. Uh, we'll do the next example here. So you're 5 foot 10 inches. Well, we already know that 5 times 12 is 60. So we've already got 60 inches for the feet. Now we need to add the 10. So that's a total of 70 inches. Um, you can work your, you can do this the same way for every single one of these. Um, I will let you try the next two on your own. So I would say pause the video here um, and try them and then unpause and you can see me doing it. So I'll continue now. Uh, we've got four feet, six inches. So four feet, we know that there's 12 inches in a foot, so we're going to multiply that. 4 times 12 is 48 inches. And then we're going to add the 6 inches that we had left over, plus 6 inches for a total of 54 inches. If you got something different, uh, definitely go back and try to find out why. Uh, we'll do the next one. Though. So 6 foot four inch, so we've got six feet, and we know that there is 12 inches in a foot. So that would equal uh, six times 12, so that would be 60, 72 inches. Um, then we're going to add our four inches to give us 76 inches total. So you combine the units that way. Um, Sometimes you're going to need to do that to be able to do a calculation. Like if I ask you the area of a rectangle, you need to know um, how many inches it is. If it's given to you in a unit like this, feet and inches, that's going to be not useful for you to use in the calculation. So to be able to move to something like this makes it a lot more useful so you can multiply it by the length or the width to get the area of that rectangle. Um, have any questions definitely email me you guys have my email uh, so next step is to convert units so not just um, making things putting things together but we're going to develop a rule that we can always use to convert units so converting units remember when you convert units you're not changing the actual measurement you're just writing the same measurement in another way therefore in order to change the units of an object without changing its value, you have to multiply by one. And this is just a fancy way of saying when you're going to multiply something, uh, you're also dividing it by one. Uh, it doesn't change it, but it helps with the units. So you can see one foot equals 12 inches, or you can say, you know, there's one foot over 12 inches or 12 inches in a foot. Um, to convert units, uh, multiply the given measurement by a form of one where you have the units that you want over top of the units that you have so that is the rule let's write that in red or a different color or put a box around it whenever you're converting you're going to make sure that you have the units you want over the units you have and I've done that already but hopefully uh, this example uh, these couple examples that we do will help to make more sense for you so examples convert five yards to feet so I'm gonna start by writing uh, five yards now if we go back to uh, page two uh, we know how many feet are in one yard. If we check it out, there are three feet in one yard. So when we are converting, we are going to place the units in a way so that the units that we want go on top and the units that we already have go on the bottom. So the units that we already have is always really obvious. It's yards. So yards I'm going to write on the bottom. And the unit that we want to get into, the question is asking for feet. So I'm going to write that one on the top. And the reason that I do this is because if you multiply, uh, if you have something on top and something on the bottom, they cancel out and they are completely gone. 
So we know that there are three feet in one yard. This is a version of one. It's just changing it to a different unit. So uh, five times three divided by one gets us to 15. And because we have yards that cancels out, yards cancels out, we are left with just feet. So we have 15 feet. So this works for every set um, of units. No matter what units you're changing from or into, as long as you put the conversion of what you have on the top, sorry, that what you have goes on the bottom and what you want goes on the top, uh, it will work for you every single time. Um, let's do the next example. If we move over, we're going to convert five yards to inches this time. So I'm going to go five yards. And I'm going to place my brackets with my line. And again, it's really easy to see the, num uh, the unit that we have. It's yards. So we're going to put that on the bottom. And we're going to be prepared to cancel that out. Uh, the unit that it, the question wants us to go into uh, wants us to convert five yards to inches. So inches goes on top. If we check back to page two, um, or earlier in the video, you can see that uh, one yard was equal to 36 inches. So if we have one yard equal to 36 inches, we can now multiply this five yards through and get rid of the yards unit, find out how many inches it is. So five times 36 is 180, and that's again, inches. So it's always beat it into your head. Units that you want go on the top. Units that you have go on the bottom. Um, and that will work for every single one. Um, let's do two more examples and then I'll let you try some on your own. Um, so we'll do the pause thing in a bit. So the next question, let's scroll down here. We're gonna convert 51 inches to feet and inches. So we've got 51 inches, and we want to know how to convert it into feet and inches. So kind of like what we started with in our previous questions, five foot four inches, two feet six inches, what is it? So what we're going to do is we're going to convert the 51 inches into feet first. So we start with our conversion, with our brackets, every single time. What we have is on the bottom, and what we want goes on the top. So we want feet, first of all. And again, we know that there are 12 inches in one foot. So we're gonna multiply 51 by one and divide by 12. So that's just dividing 51 by 12. And we get 4.25 feet. Now, that's not exactly what we were hoping for. right? We wanted four feet this many inches. But we know one of the numbers now we know that four feet is going to be the first number, right? We need to take this part now, the 0.25 feet, and find out how many inches that is. Um, so we're going to take that 0.25 feet and we're gonna convert that into inches because we wanna know uh, what it is in a combination. So I place my line, feet goes on the bottom, inches goes on the top, there is 12 inches in one foot. So we're gonna multiply 0.25 by 12. A quarter of 12, that's what that is, is three. So that's three inches. Therefore, our answer, that means therefore, if you haven't seen that before, three dots. Therefore, our answer would be four feet, three inches. So we found out how many feet it was and we found it wasn't a round number. So then we needed to uh, take it and make it um, 0.25, uh, take the 0.25 and make that into inches. Um, do one more example. So we've got 25,500 feet. We're gonna go that into miles, yards, and feet. So we're gonna start with the largest one first. We're gonna find out how many miles that is. So miles goes on the top, feet on the bottom, one mile, there's 5,280 feet from page two. This will equal 4.8295 miles. So we have a start. We know that we have four miles. 
but we don't know how many um, yards and feet that is. So let's go down to the next smallest unit, which would be yards. We take 0.8295 miles, and we convert that to yards. So miles goes on the bottom, yards goes on the top. Uh, from page two, one mile is 1,760 yards. We multiply those together, the units cancel out, we end up with 1,459 yards, uh, 0.92 yards I should say. So that means that we know that we have that many yards, we need to find out how many feet is in 0.92. So we take 0.92 yards and we turn that into feet. Yards on the bottom, feet on the top. I am starting to get the hang of this now, so I'm gonna remember, okay, there is three feet in one yard. I don't need to go back to page two anymore. I've got this. Uh, 0.92 times three, we'll put that into our calculator. You would find out that is approximately, um, we'll just say it's approximately three feet. It's a little less than that, but that's what we'll say. Uh, so now, we have our values. We can say that this um, unit, or we can say that 25,500 miles is equal to four miles, 1,459 yards, and three feet. Good for us. Um, you can pause it here and do the try it on your owns that are on page four. Uh, and then I will continue on from there. So, if you've paused and tried them, we're ready to get back at it. Um, let's try these on your on our own. So, seven yards. Let's find out how we did. We're gonna convert that to feet. So, yards goes on the bottom, feet goes on the top. Again, I remember there are three feet in one yard. So seven times three should give us 21 feet. Um, let's convert 90 inches to yards, feet, and inches now. So we've got 90 inches. We convert it to the largest unit first. Maybe it all fits in there perfectly. Let's see how many yards. So we've got inches, we've got yards on top. There would be 36 inches in one yard. So 90 divided by 36 gets us 2.5 yards. So I know that it's going to be two yards. How many feet are in yards? Let's find out. 0.5 yards. 0.5 yards. We want feet and we're in yards. So we're always quick to do that. We know that there are three feet in one yard. So that's 1.5 feet. So that's kind of helpful. But we've got another decimal. So we know that there's one foot. We'll find out how many inches are in 0.5 feet. You guys might already know, but I'll show you the math anyway. 0.5 feet, feet goes on the bottom, inches on the top, there's 12 inches in one foot. So when you multiply 0.5 by 12, what you're really doing is dividing it by two. So half of 12 is six inches. So we have that value. We can write the total answer now as two yards, one foot, six inches. Exclamation point, required. So there you have it. I should have scrolled down here so that you could see the try it on your owns. But you had them in your booklet. And if you didn't, now you've seen them. I'm sorry if you're watching this on YouTube without the booklet. Um, <laughs> it's my first one, cut me some slack. We'll move on to the next examples because I can't go back and I'll be like, what, eight minutes? I can't do it. So sorry. My class will have the booklet though, so they will appreciate it. Um, okay, let's solve some problems here. So a few years ago, this is getting more and more every year, Anthony Calvillo set a professional football record for passing 72,382 yards. You guys might not even know who he is anymore. How many miles has he passed for? So this is really a question of conversions. We take 72,382 yards, and the question wants to know how many miles that is. So again, I'm going to use my brackets. I put huge brackets, so I'm gonna have to go down after this. But we go, what we have goes on the bottom, and what we want goes on the top. 
Um, I'm going to try to remember, but I, I, if I check, check back, that's not a problem, but there's 1,760 yards in a single mile. That would be on page two, if you need that. So 72,382 divided by, um, let's see, 1760 gets us, it's about 41 miles. It's not exact, but it wants to know how many miles. It's about 41 miles, which is really quite far in a professional football league. Um, moving on to the next example. You're making your own picture frame. Perimeter that you wish to frame is 136 inches. What is the perimeter in feet and inches? So, 136 inches. So we're going from to feet and inches. So that means that we need to go large and then work down. So we're gonna convert to feet. Feet goes on the top, and just go on the bottom. I know there's 12 inches in a single foot. So I'm going to be dividing. Uh, that is going to get me 11.3 feet. So I know the 11 is good, but I need to take the 0 0.3 feet and find out how many inches that is. So it's really converting backwards, where feet now goes on the bottom, inches go on the top, 12 goes on the top, 1 goes on the bottom, and 0 0.3 of 12 is going to be 4 inches. That's 33%. So 11 feet, 4 inches is our perimeter. Perimeter equals 11 feet 4 inches. Okay. The second part of the question says that material is sold by the foot and costs one dollar and eighty-nine dollar uh, eighty-nine per foot. What will the cost of the material be before taxes and after taxes? So if we need 11 feet 4 inches we're gonna have to buy 12 feet. So 12 feet is needed and it's going to cost we want to know how much money it's going to cost. So it tells us that every foot costs a dollar eighty-nine. So we multiply twelve by a dollar eighty-nine to get um, twenty-two sixty-eight, and that's before taxes. Depending on what taxes are right now, um, we're going to multiply by. They're twelve percent ish right now, so we're going to multiply by one point one two. Uh, that adds the twelve percent tax. So after taxes, we get twenty five point four zero dollars to frame your picture. Not too shabby. Uh, this last bit um, you can now try on your own. I will scroll it down so you can see it on the video, uh, and in the future, I promise I will remember. But there's that part of the triad on your own. Um, let's see. And there's the other, so you might have to pause and just go back a little bit. But, um, yeah, I'll do this one after you pause, and then you can try them if you've got it in your booklet. And um, yeah, I'll be right back. So we're back. Uh, this is the last part of this lecture. Um, so it's the last try it on your own and you're buying a baseboard for your bedroom. So the perimeter of your bedroom is 37 feet. That's very specific. I don't know how you get that. I think I feel, I feel like it would be an even number unless you got half feet. Whatever. Uh, you're buying 37 feet worth of um, perimeter. So what length of baseboard is needed in yards and feet? So we're going to take the feet and we're going to convert it into the yarder one. Uh, Yarder, the larger one which is yards. So that means yards goes on the top, feet goes on the bottom, there's three feet in one yard, 37 divided by 3 will get us 12.3 yards. So the 12 is good but the 3 we need to carry down. So we take 0.3 yards and we multiply, um, so we get yards on the bottom and feet on the top there is again three feet in one yard. It's the opposite of what we have up top. 0.3 times three, it's approximately one foot. Uh, it's a little bit less than that, but we'll go with one foot. Um, so that means that the perimeter um, that we need, or that we have in feet, and, or in yards and inches, is 12 yards, one foot. 
The base for material is sold five ninety nine per yard. What is the cost of the material before taxes and after taxes? So we're going to assume that we have to buy uh, 13 um, yards worth of material um, because we can't buy it um, in any less amount. So we take 13 um, yards and it tells us, again with money it's a little bit tricky, but it tells us that there's five ninety nine per yard. So yards goes on the bottom and the money goes on top. And one yard costs five dollars and ninety-nine cents. So we're going to be multiplying thirteen by five ninety-nine to get seventy-seven dollars and eighty-seven cents. Now that's before taxes, so we're going to multiply that by one point one two, twelve percent for the taxes again. Uh, that would equal eighty-seven dollars twenty-one cents. Um, Next, there is an exit slip for you to practice. Um, it is a specific uh, question that is designed to kind of get everything in this lesson. Uh, and then there are quite a few questions for you to try out uh, before you check out the next video. So um, if you have any questions, again, class, you can email me. Um, and have a good day.